Hi, I'm Stan with One Solar. Today, we're talking about conduit fill, y'all. So, what is conduit fill? What does that mean? It's how many wires are we allowed to put in conduit? Just what it sounds like. So let's take an example. Let's say we have four eight gauge AWG, stands for American Wire Gauge. Pretty cool stuff, I know. And the wire type is THWN2. So what we'll do to figure out how many or what size conduit we need for four 8-gauge THWN2 wires, what size conduit? And we're going to use, uh, let's use metal rigid conduit. So here we go to the Chapter 9 tables, and THWN2 is in Table 5. Go down here to 8-gauge, and what we want is the area of it, not the diameter, because we want to know the fill. Let's go to the 8-gauge diameter, or sorry, area, and we find it's 0.0366. 0.0366 and then multiply by 4. So, 4 8 gauge THWN2 wires gives us each one is an area of 0.0366 square inches. Multiply that by 4 gives us 0.1464. So, we need to find conduit that will have at least that area. But, we turn to our conduit tables here, so let's use, yeah, we'll just use, so I say rigid, we'll use EMT, because that's where I'm at right now on this. Okay, so we have over two wires, which means we can only fill 40% of the conduit. So we go over here, say, okay, 40%, okay, that's 0 0.122, it's a little bit less than 0 0.144, so we can't use the half inch, we got to jump to three quarter inch. So now we know three quarter inch EMT is what we need. The other way to do this is if we go to the annex tables and if it's if it's all the same type of wire that's in your conduit you can just go to these tables a little cheat sheet you find THWN2 you go to 8 gauge and we said 3 quarter inch is the type of wire we were, or the type of conduit we needed so we go to 8 gauge go over to 3 quarter and yep it says we can put 5 wires in there. So the reason that you would need these other tables is if, you know, say we had four 8-gauge THWN2s, but then we had another two 8-gauge RHW wires. So then we have two different areas that we have to solve for. Even though it's the same gauge, they have a little bit of a different area. So we take this number and then we say, you know, say uh, the 8-gauge RHW wire is... We'll see where that is. We flip back. That is also in table five up at the top. So eight gauge RHW is 0 0.0556. So multiply that by two. So then we have to add that to our 0.1464, and that gives us 0.2576. And then go back to our EMT table here. And we're looking for an area over two wires, so 40% of the area that is equal to 0.256 or greater. And that looks like we jump up to one inch conduit at that point. And that's, that's how you do conduit fill. 